In this video, I will show you how you can trigger an alert pop up on Excel when one of your values doesn't satisfy the rule that you pull in. So here, for example, I have four different columns, name, amount, expense, and balance. And I want to use the data validation tool to trigger an alert when my balance falls below $100. And then balance will be the amount minus expense. Since I want to check the column's balance, I'll highlight that column and then go to data under the toolbar. And then under data tools, you can see data validation. This is, what, this is where you can set the rules. And then under setting, this is validation criteria. And in this area, you will specify the value that you will allow without triggering the error. So I will allow whole number. And then I'll allow any number that is more than $100 because I want to trigger an alert when the balance is less than $100. So since I want to trigger error when it's less than $100, then I'll allow any value that is greater than $100. Actually, um, yeah. It's greater than $100. So that means if even if it's $100, it will trigger an alert unless I say greater than or equal to. So the next one in the error alert, you have to check show error alert after invalid data is entered. So this will trigger uh, immediately when the data um, is invalid and then the I'll, I'll just put warning and then title can be anything I'll put warning here and then the error message I'll say the balance is below and and that's it so here let's say $1,000 minus $800, I'll have $200, which means this won't trigger an error. So let's test it. So no error. But let's say if, so this 900 minus 899, so that means it's, it's below $100. And then this should trigger an error. So let's see. Your balance is below 100 and then you can choose to continue or no. I'll continue. And yeah, that's it. This is how you can trigger an alert in Excel using data validation.